My head. I was knocked out. Aluria. Antony. Antony, wake up. Where are we? What are you doing here? Uh, how much did I drink last night? Ah, uh, Tiger God number four. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. I was in the information room. I was getting your flash drive, your memories. And then the government cats came. They have Aluria. They're going to kill her. That's not good. She still owes me a favor. Never mind your favors. They have Aluria. They're going to kill her. Relax, Tiger God. First things first, we need to know where we are. The prison, where I used to work as a Tiger Guard. Like I said, we were here to do your favor, but got caught. This is all your fault. My fault? You weren't being careful. What are you doing here anyway? If I remember correctly, I was visited by the government camps. And they're stronger than they look. We've been chained up so that they can... They can make us into cyborgs, like the government cats. They're going to take away our souls and our minds and our memories to make us machines. That's dismal. We ought to get out of here. But how? It certainly is a pleasure to have you here. Enough with the pleasantries. We are here to ask you to guard the two prisoners while we have our capable leopard guard handle the execution of prisoner 22. Guard them with care, or you will receive a similar fate. Of course, most noble government cats. When will their processing begin? Immediately. We must head to the cell. Follow us, you two. It seems that they are awake, which is of no consequence. Greetings, prisoners. I take it you are already aware of what glorious process we have in store for you. Glorious? You three are insane. Lock and guard the doors behind us, Tigris guards. Shall we start with you, Tiger guard? No, you're not gonna do anything to me. Perhaps the master should have a say in this. Did I hear someone mention my name? Master! What? Normally, I would not attend such a bland event, but you intrigued me, Tiger Guard number four. You are quite the anomaly. What... what are you? Your leader, now don't stare. It's rude. Would you like access into the cell, leader? I am content to wait out here. Now, we must begin the process. No, you are not going to do this to me. Something as pitiful as a broken chain will not stop us. I'm not going to let you do this to me. So much spirit. I like it. Too bad we have to take that away. It is pointless to resist. <laughs> I told you, they're stronger than they look. Not now, Antony. Alright, I, I concede. Perfect. Now go stand by your flash drive. Good. Now... One more move, and I destroy it. I 
hate to dampen your enthusiasm, Tiger Guard number 4, but that's not very threatening. We can always replace the drive. Step down. Are you sure about that? Are you absolutely sure? Stand down! You know what's in this drive, don't you? My memories. I got a good look at them recently before you captured me and brought me here. And my question is, have you ever looked at them yourself? Do not be absurd! Of course we have not! There is no need! Just as I thought! Then I'm sure you do not know what's in them. Such a shame. You'll never know. Cease your threats! They do nothing to sway us! You asked for it. The Tiger Girl has a point. There might be valuable information about the government in that flash drive. Nevertheless, you are not getting out of your current predicament. Try and stop me. Now, will you listen to me? I grow more and more impatient with each passing moment. Yet, your persistence is highly amusing. Let me go this instant. You're good to know with this tiger guard. I know what we should do. Seeing this drive has reminded me of something. Something the government cats wouldn't want me to remember. <laughs> Stop that confounded noise. What do you think you're doing, prisoner? Stop this behavior at once. Tiger God, we must hurry. What did you do? The government cat swept my memory on our first encounter because I figured out a way to detain them for a period of time. A specific combination of frequencies and patterns of sounds? Quite. Now we need to get out of here. You don't have to tell me twice! Let's go find Aluria! I'll be taking you, Sunshine. You two miscreants aren't going anywhere! Stay where you are! Deposit that flash drive back on its appropriate sensor and stand down! What makes you think I'm gonna listen to two unarmed Tigress guards? Not entirely weaponless! As I said, stay where you are! <gasps> Nameless! 2024-55623! Who forgot to change the emergency code? Run, Antony! Come on, Antony! Take it, God, look out! <laughs> Antony... Anthony, I think I'm dying. Shut up, you idiot. It's just a flesh wound. We have to keep going. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Uh, 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 uh. We have to find Aluria, and I know exactly where she'll be. I won't be needing this chain anymore. She was painful to get off. Don't do this. We were friends once. Don't you remember me? I am Leopard God number two, not your friend. You are being annoying. But I plan to solve that. No. Aluria. Wait up. Aluria! Tiger Guard! God, I really need to stop getting shot! Tiger Guard! You really are an idiot. Let's go. Not so fast! Stay out of our way! Can you walk? Maybe... Uh, not well. Antony, help me carry him! Fine, but after this, you owe me another favor. Okay, whatever, come on! The 
prisoners have escaped, all three of them. What makes you predict that? The other two would not leave without prisoner number 22. We made it, now stop biting at my neck, Tiger God. We need to get out of here, and fast. Follow me. Keep leaning on me, you're too weak to move yourself. Do I... do I get a thank you for saving your life again? Don't be stupid, it was your fault we were in that predicament anyway. Whatever you say.